Um, hang on, I want to talk a little bit about the book, which sure. means for tourism. Um, but before I do that, um, maybe back to the beginning, how did this all start for you as, a, as an individual? How did you connect with tourism? I had a previous life um, as an adult educator and began to travel with groups of adult education students around the world. And slowly, in the early 80s, began to see, often lovingly painted up, sometimes done with textiles, sometimes painted on a wall, that awful ecotourism slogan, um, leave only footprints, take only photographs. Why do you say it's awful? Most people well, would have I know, really loved it, that idea. But it's so exploitative. Mm. So when a community lives up in, around the protected area, we are just doing some work in Bwindi in Uganda, and a lot of people moved out of the forest to make habitat for the, um, to, 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 to ensure that the gorillas had an undisturbed habitat. Yeah. It becomes a national park, the local community is pushed out, and they lose access to the park for all kinds of, of things, thatching grass, um, honey, all kinds of things they used previously to take out of that area. So they pay the cost. So just, just so you, your objection to that statement is essentially, it's not enough to leave only footprints. You've got to leave something more than that for local people. Yeah, that's, because, that's the, because the, your enjoyment of their natural environment yeah. or their cultural heritage is because they've maintained it for you. I then managed to get a research grant and we looked at what was happening with the park finances in three national parks. And the, the task was to see if we could find ecotourism in there. And basically we couldn't. I mean, an ecotourist inside a national park just like any other tourist there, in a game vehicle, being driven around, looking at the wildlife, staying in the same accommodation as ordinary tourists. You can't see the difference. Now, I then went on to look at these three national parks and found that actually the visits by tourists were being subsidised out of the park revenues, which came not from tourism, but from government um, funds. So taxpayers in those countries are actually paying to maintain a facility largely used by foreign tourists. So your argument, your, argument, your argument at the time was, when there's so many other priorities in a country, from poverty to education, it shouldn't be for governments to subsidise the visits of wealthy foreign tourists, there's yes. better use of that money. Yeah. But you, or even wealthy domestic tourists. Yeah. Ecotourism is essentially just a marketing slogan used by a few companies. Um, and it's a nice idea, it's a very persistent idea, it's still around. Although when we did the work for UNWTO, for the United Nations World Tourism Organisation, in 2001 and looked for evidence of ecotourism existing. We didn't find it, nobody else did either really. It's, it's a myth that it exists. Okay, you clearly took that frustration with ecotourism, what you saw and understood with, with ecotourism forward into this concept of responsible tourism. Um, I'd like to understand what you mean by responsible tourism and then describe how it's different to ecotourism or notions of ecotourism, or perhaps some of the other terms we hear, like sustainability or sustainable tourism. People do use an awful lot of different terms, don't mm. they? I think, to some extent, that variety of terms reflects the variety of cultures that we have in the world. And I mean, one of the things which I think is a core value for responsible tourism is accepting that the world is a diverse place. I don't want to get hung up on the labels. They're not, in the end, they're not all that important. What really matters is what people do. I think the easiest way of understanding what responsible tourism is, is to say it's about making tourism better, better for the local communities, for their environments and for the traveller. So it's about making tourism better. And perhaps the easiest phrase is talking about making better places for people to live in and better places for people to visit mm. in that order. Because mm. fundamentally it's about respecting the fact that the place you're visiting belongs to someone else. You mm. are only a temporary resident, you are a guest. Mm. It's about making a reality of the notion that you are a guest in somebody else's environment. With all of, that, all of what we know about what that means in terms of being a guest in someone's home, mm. similar things apply. Now, the other problem for me about notions of ecotourism is that the focus is always always entirely on the traveller's experience of the environment. So that often comes down to how good the guide is who's showing you the wildlife. That's fine, but responsibility is about what you do to make tourism better across economic, social and environmental aspects. And it's the breadth of the responsible tourism agenda which for me makes it so exciting. So everything from child welfare to 
wildlife protection. It is that entire mm. spectrum, mm. and people will focus on particular issues. But responsible tourism is about what people do and about being held accountable for what you do and the negative impacts of your, your behaviours and activities. Mm. One of the depressing things for me is you know, you see people talking about sustainable and responsible tourism. Mm. It's entirely the wrong way around. I mean, sustainable tourism is the objective. You know, everybody wants to live or say they wants to live, want to live in a, in a more sustainable way, in a more sustainable world. Mm. That's not the issue. That's the, if you like, that's an abstract objective. Mm. The problem is how do you get there? And the only way you get there is by changing behaviour and changing what we do and demanding that the companies who provide travel and tourism for us solve some of those problems or at least make the problems smaller than they currently mm. are. Mm. Whether that's reducing carbon emissions or improving the benefits going mm. to local communities or preventing the exploitation of children in travel and tourism.